So would you call yourself the Bernie Sanders of San Francisco? I've been called worse. How y'all doing? I'm running for mayor of San Francisco. I'm running for mayor. I'm running for mayor of San Francisco. I'm running for mayor of San Francisco. I'm running for mayor. Here you go. <laughs> so what are your plans today? How you doing? Oh, there's a lot of plans. Uh, first of all, we need to get human poop off the streets. We need to make it dignified places for people who live on the streets to go to the bathroom. We also need to tackle homelessness. The other thing we need to do is uh, tackle corruption that's happening in San Francisco in City Hall. Hey! And make it more affordable housing. Yeah, well, I've seen you in the paper. I, <laughs> just, like, I didn't know this was real, like, seriously. Yeah, yeah it's serious. Uh, I'm sick and tired of poor people in this country. We have so much wealth in this country, we shouldn't have poor people. We've got something like 10,000 homeless people in the streets of San Francisco, and we have probably more than 10,000 millionaires. It's a joke that we have so much poverty. Young creatives are being pushed out of places all over the country. DC, New York, San Francisco, and that's creating other centers of creativity. But just because it's happening doesn't mean we shouldn't fight against it. You know, just because something terrible is happening, oh, fuck it, that's happening. No, no, you have, you have to stand up for what you believe in. If everybody donated who said they were going to donate, we'd have an extra $3,000 for me. Do you think he really stands a chance? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm not delusional. Um, we know him winning is incredibly unlikely. The intent of this is to have a voice to ensure that the issues that other people are interested in get raised and that Ed Lee has to respond to them. Unopposed campaigns, that's just not how the democratic process is supposed to work. So what's the goal of the campaign? Um, the goal of the campaign is to get Ed Lee out of office. And if anything, you know, if you don't agree with us, if you think we're crazy, if you think that we don't know what we're doing, run against us or join us. But either way, um, saying that it's okay for someone in the office to be corrupt and that that's just how it is, is not okay. The thing about Ed Lee is like, I respect the work he did 30 years ago. I mean, he was pretty radical, he was a good dude, but then he just got caught up in the system and he just got fucking sucked into it all. And so then how are you not gonna get sucked into it if you land up there? Because I don't give a shit. Honestly, if I get 30% of the vote, that's a fucking gangster ass move right there. If I get 40% of the vote, they're gonna study me in history forever. If you're free tonight, we're doing a happy hour at Doc's Clock. Do you think you stand a chance? Anything's possible. It's not likely, but that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it to make some fucking noise and to get people to pay attention and get people to care. And then maybe end up in room 200. We're in San Francisco, home to the on-demand economy.